that is wild. That is a flavor explosion in my mouth. Holy shnikes. Okay, this is a new booch. This is the Flying Embers Hard Kombucha Pineapple Chili with a hint, just a hint of ginger. This is like so many flavors. Oh my God, that is delicious. Yeah, usually I wouldn't go for like pineapple in general, but the pineapple with the chili and a tad bit of ginger, that's getting the job done right there. Hello, if you've come to my channel and you're like, who the hell is this gal? My name is Kate the Great Beauty. I always like to pair a sensible glass of wine, cocktail, hard kombucha, you fill in the blank, or two, or three, or whatever we're feeling at the time with whatever like skincare makeup look I'm doing. Okay, I'm sorry, but I just had a beep, adjust the camera there. I live in New York City and it is so humid. Like it's gorgeous out, it's gray like I like it because I'm a weirdo. Um, it's really breezy out, it's like 70 some degrees, but it almost doesn't matter because the humidity is 80%. So even though it seemed like it was gonna be delightful when I went out for my errands today, I came back and I was literally drenched in sweat. So that's a joy and a pleasure. Hence why I'm still kind of drinking something a little bit light, you know what I mean? Like a little refreshing because I can't quite get on board with like the pumpkin beer and the whiskey and all that stuff yet because it's just too like, ooh, it's too hot out. So this look today is gonna be a soft and sexy, wearable, easy fall makeup look. That was so many adjectives. I couldn't put them all in the thumbnail because I'd look insane. So anyway, that's what we're doing here today. I have a great uh, bunch of products here. Some things are new, some things are tried and true. We're gonna be using some new Rare Beauty. We're gonna be using some new Kier Weiss. We're going to be featuring my favorite, found well, not my favorite foundation, but like top three foundations, because I don't know if you guys know this, but Sephora currently is having 20% off of all their foundations. So like run, do not walk if you're looking for a new foundation. So I'm gonna be using one of my favorites and I also have some brand new beauty pie. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I just took a shower. My hair is a little damp. I'm kind of taken to just like quickly doing my hair on camera once it's dry because I'm just finding, especially with my platinum hair, you know, obviously that really dries out your hair. It just does a lot better if I air dry it. So you're gonna watch my hair air dry, get excited. And I saved this step of skincare to begin with. Now this is a brand new, well, it's brand new to me. I don't know that it's brand new to Kier Weiss, but this is their facial oil. They sent this to me. And I used this last night as a last step in my skincare regimen and my skin was blurring, blurring. So I have on like, you know, a few of my favorite serums and all that. And this we are going to use as our primer because it says so, it says you can do that. And this actually has Chinese yam in it, which I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a Chinese yam expert, um, but Apparently it is brightening and it adds a luminosity to the skin. Oh, it also just has such like a comforting scent to it. Take it down my neck. So I did use the swass. I used the Fancy Body Swass on my neck, on my decollete today. And I think I am gonna keep using it even though I am losing my tan, like I'm going back to Pastyville, which is totally fine, but I'm really loving uh, still using this on my neck and my decollete because it gets so, so incredibly pasty there. And there's always a disparity between when I do my makeup and my neck because my neck is so pale. So this really, really helps with that. And I think I'm probably gonna be using it throughout the year. Okay, great, let's take a drink, yeah. Mm. Meow. Loving the dewiness that oil gave my skin. And I'm gonna go in with, oh wow, this is disgusting. Let me just uh, 
polish off my products, something I probably should do before I film, but never do. This is the Dior Air Flash, and I decided to use this today because this is available at Sephora. It is a super expensive foundation, so I feel like if you're going to get it, you should definitely get it now. I believe this Sephora sale on foundation goes through the 20th of this month. This just has never stopped being one of my absolute favorite foundations. I have it in the shade 2CR, which is a really pretty damn perfect match to my skin. That's what it looks like in my palm. And what I'm also gonna do is down below in my description box, I'm gonna go ahead and link um, some of my other favorite foundations in case you guys wanna check that out um, and take advantage of that sale while you can. And I'm using my BK Beauty Contoured Foundation Brush. It's the 101. I just will never get over how incredibly natural and gorgeous this formula is. So as of the 13th in New York City, it is required proof of vaccination to get into a lot of places like gyms, um, concerts, you know, venues, uh, if you wanna dine inside. And I just cannot tell you what a relief it is. I mean, it's certainly not, you know, the, the best thing to do is just to stay home and see nobody, we, we know this. But if you're gonna go anywhere, I just feel so much more comfortable and more okay with going out. So the other night we went to this really fantastic comedy show. It's in Brooklyn in Park Slope at Union Hall. Um, if you live in New York City or you're visiting, it, it's fantastic. I mean, it's literally in a basement. So it's this really cool bar up top, very candlelit, and they have bocce ball, which is, I've never seen that before in New York City, like in a bar. It's really, really unique. And then you go downstairs and it's where a lot of comedians will go to just like try out their material, try out new stuff. We actually saw David Cross there a couple years ago and he was just like trying new material. It was so much fun. So we went to this show that Vulture is sponsoring every Tuesday now in that location and it's called Pretty Major. And it was like, I think around eight stand-up comics, like up and coming stand-up comics. I mean, I hate saying up and coming because these people have probably been doing this for like over 10 years. They're probably not up and coming at all. But anyway, being a stand-up comedian is a really tough road. And I, I have had like quite a few people say, oh my God, you should do stand-up, you should do stand-up comedy. You should be on SNL. And I'm like, no, thank you. Like that is a whole different I don't know, like set of human being, set of human beings, a whole different life. It is probably one of the hardest things you could sign yourself up for. And I have the utmost respect for comedians, specifically stand up comedians. I have to say in this show, every single person was hilarious, which is really not normal. Like usually you go to show and there's, you know, at least a couple kind of like womp womps not this show, these people were nailing it. Our faces hurt from laughing so much. And we wouldn't normally sit in the front row, but there's really limited seating and then you have to stand. So tons of people were standing. The last time we stood, we weren't really into it. So we're like, well, I guess we'll sit in the front row. We knew we were signing ourselves up to be picked on. I was definitely picked on a couple of times, but you know what? I don't mind. It was really fun. Yeah, so if you're in New York City, people are always like, what should I do if I'm there? Like, what's something that like locals love to do that's sort of like off the beaten path for tourists? And I say do something like that, you know? So I will always link the things I talk about, whether it's a restaurant, comedy show, what have you, down below in my description box. Oh, that was the longest foundation application known to man. All right, so now I'm going in with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. And I'm a lazy biatch, so I'm just using my same brush to blend that in, but you know what, it works, why not? Quick and easy, right? That's what we're going for here. And, you know, I haven't talked about BK Beauty brushes in a really, well, I don't have a really long time, but I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I always have a code with BK Beauty. And these are my favorite brushes, 
hands down. So you can always find that code in my description box and it's going to get you 10% off. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with... Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Patrick Top bronzer and just, you know, give a little bit of warmth. Okay, so I think that's the perfect amount of bronzer for the amount of body sauce I have on. Now I am going to use a cream blush that I haven't used in a while. And in fact, I don't think I use this much at all. So I'm using my Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shade... Fenty Glow, which, you know, you can see it's almost a little bit like a bronzer for me. It's not a shade I usually gravitate toward because, you know, I usually do sort of like a pinky coral or a berry situation, but I think this is going to be perfect for our fall look. Okay, and then I'm going to take my BK Beauty Bunny Brush and I'm going to powder my face. This is the Danessa Myricks um, translucent setting powder. I'm trying to like branch out and use other powders of mine because I I can't stop using that Kosas cloud set powder and I feel like it's getting a little old and redundant. So guess who I have tickets to go see in October? Kevin James Norton! I'm so excited! If you don't know who the hell that is, you need to go look him up because he's He's basically my favorite. He's one of my favorite creators. He's wise. He's hilarious. Um, he's just, he's just a delight. So he's going to be at City Winery in October in New York City. And I cannot wait. I'm that person who got the closest seats to the stage. But I want to see every drop of sweat. No, I'm really excited. My friend Carly and I are, are going to have a girl date and go and see him. It was the 90s. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a brand new product that was sent to me by Rare Beauty. This is the Brow Harmony Shape and Fill Duo. And it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six shades. They sent me taupe and light brown. Taupe is uh, too light for me, so I'm gonna use the light brown, which honestly, I would probably go for just the brown, but that's okay. So some notes about this product. This is a breakthrough waterproof brow putty, easily shapes and fills brows for a natural look, snap in angled brush and spoolie. Oh my God, look, look at how clever this is. The brush comes out of that little hidey hole. And this opens up and you have your brow product in there. I just pulled up the website and it says, this is everything you need to build a soft, natural looking brow with total confidence. More flexible than pomade, this breakthrough putty glides on creamy then sets to a soft powder finish. Oh, minus the powder fallout for an instantly fuller look that won't smudge, fade, or rub off. And each duo comes, okay, here we go, with two complementary shades that mimic brows natural gradient tones and gives you the most real looking depth and dimension. All right, okay, I'm sorry, but that mirror is just too small. That's just not, that's not doing it for me. Kind of just mixing the two shades, honestly, like going back and forth. Um, I'm sure there's like a more technical way to do it, but whatever. This really does feel like a powder, but there's, there's no fallout because of that putty texture. Wow, this is, this is, kind of amazing. That's really, really nice. I mean, I have to admit, I got really, I mean, I'm always excited when I get PR, so please don't get me wrong. But, and especially from Rare Beauty, because I love Rare Beauty, and I was like, ooh, what did they send me? And I got home, and it was a brow product, and I was like, mm, oh, okay. Um, but no, this is, this is really unique. Wow. And I actually really like that shade for me, I have to say. That is really nice and soft and lovely. I'm into this. I am into this and I really love how like easy peasy it all is. Like how great is that to travel with? You know, obviously I'm working with like not a huge amount of space here. So the fact that like everything is in this little compact is perfect for me. So I have the Beauty Pie annual membership that basically has like this insane spending limit. It's like a $3,600 spending limit. Um, so I just went to town and I got like 22 products. 
Where am I gonna put them? I don't know. Anyway, that's we don't have to worry about that right now, but we are going to put on this eyeshadow stick and I tried it beforehand, so I know I love it. Um, this is a matte shade, it's called En Taupe. And I know that sounds really boring, but it's like the perfect matte toasted almond easy eye. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. And I love the warmth of it. You know what I mean? It's not too cool tone because I am learning that not really digging on the cool tones so much, you know? Oh, they're just so good. They're so easy to blend, like one and done. And I am gonna also go underneath my lower lash line, add like a little bit of pop to my eyes. See, I like this better than, you know, taking like a powder bronzer and doing my eyes because again, like no fallout. I'm just like boop, boop, and then blend it out a little bit, you're done. I don't know why I feel like I have to, you know, sound like Marissa Tomei and my cousin Benny, but I do. I just, I just do. I mean, I really don't even have to blend this out, <laughs> honestly. I'm just kind of like patting it in with my finger, making sure everything you know, is blended, but that's pretty much it. Okay, going in really quick with my Victoria Beckham Satin Cajal Liner. Actually, I never do this, but I'm using the little sort of brush at the other end of the Victoria Beckham eyeliner just to kind of smudge everything out because, you know, we're going for soft and sexy here. You know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna do my waterline as well. Why not, right? A little bit of drama. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite current mascara. Guys, this is a run, do not walk situation. It is the Kier Weiss um, Impossible Mascara and they just released this and I am in love with it. I don't know if you guys have caught Better Off Red's vlog that she put up. She went to a horror con and she outdid herself. She did this whole super creative um, like sassy Frankenberry costume and it is it's truly incredible like please go watch that because I cannot get over her costume and her makeup she looks like an absolute doll and I cannot believe she didn't win the costume contest she was robbed is what I'm telling you that mascara is just like it's insane it just gives me everything I need it gives me the length it gives me um, the separation, it gives me the drama. Now I'm gonna go in with my uh, Thrive Cosmetics Beyond Lash, or wait, what is it called? Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And this I love to use on my lower lashes because it's a tubing mascara and that prevents it from, you know, transferring onto my under eye. This reminds me that the eyes of Tammy Faye is coming out and I cannot wait to see it because if you if you watched my channel since the beginning you know that i would like reference tammy faye baker all the time just talking about like how much mascara i like to put on um it looks amazing i i, I can't wait for it so i'm just taking a q-tip and kind of cleaning up any mascara i got anywhere any liner that got kind of like outside the lines. This eye look is really doing it for me. This is about as like glam, comfortably glam as I like to get. Anything more than this and it's just, okay, I'm breaking shit. I don't know, it just feels a little bit like extra or over the top to me. This still feels glamorous and sexy, but I still feel like myself, you know? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly do my hair because I think it's almost dry. This is actually a product that uh, my boyfriend Randy picked up when he got his hair cut at the salon. And this is from Arojo. So this is hair creme, it's natural separation and essential moisture. So it's just a really nice hydrating product, which is like, I don't wanna say it has hold. I mean, obviously it's gonna give a little bit of pieciness to my hair. Ooh, it smells so good. Yeah, and I can kind of like, it does have a little bit of hold because I can easily kind of zhuzh my hair and work with it. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and then I just like to go in with a little bit 
of oil. This is the Verb Ghost Oil. Just a little drop of oil, you don't need much. And just kind of like going around and lightly touching the ends, any place I want there to be a little bit of shine especially on the sides. I want the, my sides to look shiny. And then with that, I just also kind of like use the extra oil to just rub it into my nails and my hands. Cause like, why not, right? I know I keep talking about this channel like over and over again, but I really have been binging her content and I really trust her opinion. So State of Kate recommended this uh, particular shade from Beauty Pie in the, I think this is called the Future Lipstick slip I don't know anyway look in the description box it's all down there but these are one of my favorite products from Beauty Pie because they're that like really lovely tinted balm texture don't need a mirror you can just go I mean I'm gonna use a mirror but I think I could get by without it you see how it just glides on I honestly think I'm probably gonna get like every shade of this lipstick from Beauty Pie because damn, I love it. And again, if you're a member, this is so inexpensive, like way less than the Glossier Ultra Lips. Um, as always, I do have a code, a discount code for Beauty Pie down below if you wanna try it out, but mm, bruised berry, do it to me. I like to do my lips first because I wanna see like how much blush I'm gonna need. So. I haven't used this, I think I barely use this actually. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher uh, in Pillow Talk Intense. Hey, just as I thought, this is stunning. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So like in the pan, it's interesting because this, again, it looks very like muted to me. I mean, I know it says it's intense, so there's that, but it doesn't like draw me in. But when I apply it to my skin, it's almost kind of going in like an Aspen cheek direction. Ooh. Okay. That is, that is absolutely stunning. And there is a little bit of sheen to this, like a little bit, not much, but I'm not even gonna put um, highlighter on because I don't think I need it. I think I have a really nice natural glow going on from that uh, Keir Weiss oil that I prepped my skin with, just the foundation I used and everything. I'm really happy with that, so. Okay, so that is my soft, sexy, easy breezy, uh, wearable fall look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love how it turned out specifically, well, I don't know. I don't know, but specifically the eyes, I was gonna say. I'm not always a huge fan of going into the waterline. Sometimes I feel like, you know, it can make your eyes look smaller, all that stuff. But with this look right now, I just feel like it's popping. Mm -mm. As always, everything I talked about today, everything I use, it's gonna be down below in the description box for easy shopping and also they are affiliate links. So if you actually enjoyed something and you wanna try something out that I recommended, I do get a small commission from that if you use my links, which helps support my channel. This might be one of my favorite looks I've done recently. I have to say, I'm kind of like blown away by the combo. If I were to cheer something, damn it. What is it gonna be? Wow, this is high press. It's gonna have to be this this lipstick from Beauty Pie. I, I mean, maybe I've cheers another shade from it, but this bruise berry is like next level. And also I do love that eyeshadow. That just made everything super easy, but I do feel like this is kind of one of the stars of the show. So I don't even know what this is called. We're just gonna say Beauty Pie lipstick and bruise berry, good. Beauty Pie, Lipstick and bruise berry, good job. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm.